Hello everyone, Ben here, and today we're going to be starting in earnest our series on the regions of the United States of America. And kind of, this is going to be a prelude to some of my uh, 2018 Senate stuff and of course 2020 President stuff, but this is kind of just to look at the United States because I feel that's the best. Um, to truly show you kind of where things will be going. Anyway, we're going to be starting with my favorite region and the region that I live in, I grew up in, my favorite region. My home, the South. Um, so slight bias um, here. Now, I dug up the numbers and the most recent figures I could come up with for both population and gross domestic product, and I decided that'll be our starting, where we start, okay? So, the economy of the South, <laughs> it is surprisingly strong. Now, we do have to realize that we do have, in terms of states, a little bit over a fifth of the states in the United States. We've got Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. I don't think I said Georgia the first time around. Anyway, so that's 15 states. It's a little bit under a third of the states. Okay. Um, so that's just to put you into perspective. But the South does have four states that are in the top 10 for GDP, six in the top 20, and seven. I'm sorry, not seven, I'm sorry, an eight in the top half. Now, of course, the largest GDP belongs to Texas at $1.6 trillion, and that's with a T. Then you've got Florida with a little over $900 billion. Georgia and North Carolina are just a little over $500 billion. And it goes on down to the smallest GDP, which is West Virginia, of only in the $70 billion range. Now, I'm not entirely sure exactly where this would be, but the entire GDP of this region is $5.57 trillion, or, well, it's an approximate. I didn't write it all out exactly, but at $5.57 trillion, we would rank well, I'm actually pulling this up. Now I'm going to ignore this. The South itself would be the third largest economy in the world. This is assuming that uh, across all metrics. Okay, so that's insane. That's just how strong economically the South really, really is. Okay, now population-wise, got 111 million people. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick math here. 
to figure out what the GDP per capita of the South is. And I, and it's approximately 111 million people. So we've got five, five, seven, Okay, there we go. Divided by one, 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 zero, zero, zero. zero. About fifty thousand dollars per ca GDP per capita. It's pretty good, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. That is very high. So the South isn't as poor as people think, okay? Now, politically speaking, it'd be very right-wing um, and very socially conservative, okay? Um, there are only three states that would even consider, at least that have in recent years, voted for a Democrat. Um, since the year 2000, only three southern states have voted for a Democrat. North Carolina, North Carolina was an anomaly in 2008. Virginia has pretty much become a blue state. And Florida is the classic swing state. However, every other state in the South is essentially a deep red state and that is that's sh that's telling okay maybe not we'll, we'll see but if you look at it this would be one of the more right wing nations I mean, it's even right-wing by U.S. standards. <laughs> now, other things to know. The, so where would you put the center? Well, the cultural center is either going to be Tennessee, Virginia, or Texas. Or Georgia. Uh, I'll put Georgia in there. And Georgia does have a booming film industry, so they'd kind of be the entertainment capital, specifically in and around Atlanta. Um, you've got a lot of it. Uh, there's a lot of potential for offshore oil, specifically uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, so the Gulf states can become potentially very rich. Um, coal is definitely a valuable resource in the Appalachians, uh, around West Virginia, Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and North Georgia. Um, fishing is probably going to be a very big industry considering the coastline. Um, there's some good stuff all around. Um, agriculture is going to be very important. Um, that said, the region would get hit the most with freak weather, considering Oklahoma and the Gulf Coast and eastern seaboard with hurricane season. Um, Oklahoma with tornadoes and all that craziness. Um, but there's also a growing tech industry in Texas, um, and that would probably expand to other states as well in North Carolina. The, uh, the triangle, the research triangle is pretty big. Um, so overall, the South would be in a very good position to succeed if it were its own nation. Uh, no major weaknesses some pretty natural borders, um, a strong independent spirit, sometimes taken to the extreme. <laughs> Don't get me wrong about that. Yeah, we, we take things to the extreme sometimes. 
but also very relaxed. Uh, who would be the head of this nation? Ted Cruz. I, I just don't see a reason. And as for the capital, I really don't see... I really don't see a reason not to have the capital be Richmond in Virginia. Either Richmond, Atlanta, or Austin. Richmond, more historically speaking, would be a suitable capital. Atlanta would be probably a good mod, re based off modern culture. And Austin, Texas would be, if you wanted to go for the capital of the largest GDP and also highest population state. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much. Uh, next time, we are probably going to cover the mid-Atlantic states um, as well. Yeah, we're going to cover the mid-Atlantic states next time. Um, and at the end of this series, I'm going to review possible new states. So who could be the next, who could be the 51st state? And what would their politics be like? Because that's an important question. Because I'm of the opinion that if any new states are going to be added to the United States, they're going to be added based off of, they're going to add similarly sized Republican and similarly sized Democrat states. Because no side is going to want to allow a different... <laughs> state. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time when we cover the Mid-Atlantic states. Bye.